Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Build a Battle. We're going to go ahead and be finishing up our mega dungeon here that we were building. I'm kind of pretty much following the uh, uh, map from the Haunted Halls of Evening Star. So I'll go ahead and pull that up for you so you can go ahead and take a look at that. And in a moment, I'll go ahead and run through all the things that you're going to need to go ahead and build along with us all the sets. And as, you, as I said earlier, you might not use all the pieces in these sets, but you will um, probably use a good deal of them. So let me go ahead and we'll go over that. The first set is going to be the Monster uh, Trap set. That's the Monster Maze Passages set. And both those are resin sets. Then we have the Wicked Editions um, set number two resin. Wicked Edition set number one resin. We have the Ancient Pillars pack. The Narrow Dungeons Passage pack. The Large Floor set. The Vaulted Large Curved Walls. The Epic Stairs pack. Dungeon Passage Pack number one, Flat Edge. Dungeon Floors Pack. Dungeon Wall, Diagonal Wall Pack, excuse me. Cages. Classic Dungeon Core Set. Vaulted Dungeon Core Set. Double Doors Pack. Vaulted Doors Pack. Passages Hallways Pack. Water and Stone 12 inch terrain trays. And then finally, 38 millimeter and 12 millimeter stilts. And again, you might not use all these, but if you buy them, you'll always have these pieces for you later anyway. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, I couldn't help myself. I will be honest. I did kind of do a little bit while everybody uh, was away. Not very much. Um, I added like a privy area here, like a cellar privy. I think that's what it was. Uh, then there's extended this along here. Uh, hopefully none of my players are watching because they'll be seeing the secrets, but I extended this wall over here and this passage is kind of like an ambush that occurs in there. Um, and then again, I also extended this passage, added the privy, and then I fixed this little area over here and started this passage because this is going to connect up into here. And this is an elevated area. Uh, I went ahead and elevated this whole thing as you could see. So they'll be walking up the stairs um, and then there's going to be three doors in here. I'll block these off with things that slide in them, and they'll have to make the choice of which ones to go down. And of course, in my games, there's no happiness. All three of the doors lead to death, except the secret door, which they have to find. I'll be right back. Give me one moment. I forgot to turn on my uh, laptop for everybody here. Let me grab it. It is... Grab this laptop here. Uh, don't know where the mouse. Oh, there's the mouse. So this way I can see if anybody has any questions uh, or anything like that. And I'm going to be on YouTube most of the time. Uh, I'm also airing this on Facebook and Twitch. And a good part of the time, I'm just going to be on YouTube. So again, I'll, as my computer turns on, I'll go over this. Um, today, hopefully, we'll be able to finish up the map and fill up this table. Uh, maybe we'll even be able to add more rooms than I expect. But I'd also like to be able to start decorating, putting traps in, dungeon decorations like chairs, treasure chests, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff, uh, uh, sarcophagus, you know, whatever. Just really giving this uh, dungeon a lot of immersion and feel of this haunted halls of Evening Star that many adventurers have gone and died in, uh, and some have not come back, like I said. So... Yeah, we'll be hopefully decorating all of that today with some really, really pretty stuff. So it should be a really nice, relaxing, fun build. 
So let me turn on everything here. I can make sure that I can hear everybody. Or let's do this. There we go. There's one. And we'll put in YouTube. I can see everybody up here. Let's give you a moment. I was so excited to build, I forgot to turn on the, the PC here. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, let's mute that. All right. Put the Twitch one on here. The PC here. Oh, mute that. And then let's get the Facebook one up. And we will be ready to build. Ready to go. Let's do this. Not sure here. All right, here we go. So I am up here. So, okay, now I am going to be on YouTube. Like I said, let me just mute this so we don't have me echoing. And I will be on YouTube uh, probably more than anything else. So anybody's up here. Hey, how you doing? I'm going to try to check my PC, uh, look at it from time to time as I'm building. Please forgive me if I don't check it instantly because I get really, really deep in the building here and I forget all that. All right, so let me get my map out. See what we're building here. Let's keep getting, oh, oh, come on, map. All right. So we've got that pillar room, I'm kind of building this right now over here. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do the map exactly the way you see it here. I'm pretty much trying to keep everything that I can, but there will be some things that the way they draw, it doesn't really connect up exactly uh, with the terrain. So I had to do some minor changes and also to accommodate size and everything else. Uh, so I can try to fit as much as I, as I can from this adventure on the table. Now, I already built the city. If you've looked at our Facebook page or anything like that, you probably saw the pictures. I built a complete city uh, of Evening Star uh, with the Lonesome Tankard Inn, uh, Tesseral's Tower, and the House of the Morning, all from that module. And we're also going to be building Reviewer's Keep. So I'll have all the locations from that module um, that they specified all the builds. And then of course, also have the biomes, uh, such as the stone lands and the places that they choose to explore that other than going, uh, into the dungeon. But I imagine they're going to be spending a large amount of time in this dungeon. Uh, so let's get started back to building, uh, and doing what we are doing here. I had a rough, now the way I did this, um, so people know for the people who weren't here, I'll go ahead and kind of do it again. This room was constructed. I used the passages pieces here that you see. So I had the floor coming up here. I got the stairways as they come down. I took the big floor piece, the large floor set that I said. So you have that, I put that down in here. And then all you basically do is you slide the passages under here. This goes here. And now you got a nice little, oh, little beginning of a room here. So this is what I built. Now for the elevation, I took the stilts, the 38 millimeter stilts, and all this stuff is from Dwarven Forest. The dungeon dressing, a lot of it will be from WizKids and from other various things like Etsy. But um, for the stilts are from Dwarven Forest, again, the 38 millimeter stilts. And then I put them right under here, uh, this board that you see here. Uh, one in each corner of the square board, and then they just sit on that. And they're at a perfect height that once you put down a floor piece, like you see right here, it connects right up flush to the piece right there. All right, so let's keep going. I'll put this back in here. Doop, doop, doop. Put this here, back in here. All right, so we've got our wall system back there. Put this in here. All right, let's keep it going, keep it going non-stop. All right, so that works there. Let's put another one here. And all these kind of areas have to be, they're kind of like empty. So I really have to 
that kind of finagle this uh, in a way here. I'm going to have to put a passage coming down right here and turn it. That's what it's going to have to be. It's going to be, it's going to be a tight one. So I think we should actually make the room a little bit bigger. I think it's a little bit small. So let's make it a little bit bigger. They're going to think this is a boss room. And like, oh my God, look, it's a big room. Uh, so one, two, one. Now each one of these squares represents 10 feet. But of course my games, we use five foot movement. So I actually have to double the size usually of everything you see up here. So that itself can lead into problems because that is, you know, it's big. Now I do have a large table, six foot by four foot, but you know, there is a point where it gets to be too much and then I have to try trying to fit in stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll say one, so 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So everything should be about here. All right, so yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so it ends right here. So everything, this is where these doors. So that will be the proper amount of space that should have been in this room. And there's a little bit down there. Um, but we will not worry about that right now. What we'll do is we'll have that come off at that end and that's going to go into 16 which rounds about and which will bring us all the way back to that large room at the top <clears throat> i don't know if anybody's in here but hello if you are and again i'm on youtube right now uh so if you're on facebook or anything or twitch watching this probably better to come over to youtube that's where i'm at uh answering questions and things like that do, 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 do. All right. So let me keep going here. This is so relaxing. I just love sitting back and just building this stuff. Makes me makes me happy. You know, it's the best way I can. Hey, it's just make you happy doing this stuff. And you should do things in life that make you happy. You know, it's important to do things that make you happy. Man, I used to do a lot of things that didn't always make me happy in this life. And I've learned that, you know, you're going to end up being miserable and it won't matter how much money you make or you will just be like, oh, I do not like the life that I'm living. I got to get out of this and, and find my thing that I, my passion and my joy. So I highly suggest that to everyone, that everyone follow their passion, their joy. I used to play a lot of city building games. I think it was always enjoyable. I love some city builders. Really big on Grand Ages Rome. That was one of the things I loved to, to build on. It's always exciting. That and city skylines, all those games from back in the day. Uh, oops. All right, so we have to get this now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So we need to have this. Over here. Let's get that flush there because it will mess with you. All right, let's do this because these little pieces aren't going to be nice. Great, so we need to put these down. There we go. Because by putting these down, they give us a little bit better angle to work with right there. I have to worry about trying to slide off the mat or hold the other ones together. Do. 
And I think this is the uh, many pillars room, and I've got pillars to decorate it. All that stuff, so I will be decorating it. With a jade pillars pack amongst the, and some other packs that I have. There might be some things that I add that I might not have mentioned in the very beginning, but you will see, uh, you'll see as I, I hold them up, and I'll let you know which ones. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we have to start putting these in place. First one, or whatever. What was it? The first door was to a like a pit. All right, so yeah. Like, All right, we still got to put some more stuff up there. Hold on. I hadn't put enough. Uh, yeah, so for this guy, pit will go here. So that works out. Okay. Perfect. That is good in place. Then the next one. Oh, putting all these little pieces in. This is always the, the fun place. Putting all the pieces in here. <clears throat> all right. All the tiny pieces. Oh, let's just get this off here. There we go. All right, here we go. We're just trucking along, putting it together. For people watching this in the future, because I know a lot of people don't watch this live. You know, it's a tutorial. Uh, you like to probably pause and everything else. Definitely understand that. Um, hopefully you'll join our Facebook page. Uh, their social media links are right there in our bio. You can check out our YouTube, like I said, our Facebook or our um, Instagram and Twitter, all that stuff. We got all the all the social media. All right, <laughs> just putting this together. All right, there we go. So that is that wall. Now, let's get the next thing in. So the next thing had, that was the, this is just an empty passage right here. So we don't even need to, worry about that this is just completely empty Ooh, i don't like the look of that though i don't like the way that's shaped gotta look prettier than that we don't want to have a an ugly wall right there so let's let's do this we'll just have an end right here it doesn't need to be very long doesn't need to be a huge wall situation there so we'll just kind of shorten that out Put a little here there we go oh that looks a lot better i don't like it when it's not flush gets on my nerves i like my stuff to look look nice and even so there we go Got a little fly flying around in here. Sorry about that. All right, now we go here. We can just do it like that. Um, no, because that's right. It won't work. <laughs> you have to do it like this. And then the last one over here. Because this will not fit in there, will it? Wait a minute, it might. Hold on. Am I so silly and does it actually fit in there? Ah, uh, it looks like it might. Wow. 
Okay, cool. Wow. Owen Wilson. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't know who came up with that, but that is funny. Wow. All right, that looks like it fits. That's pretty good. All right, so this will work out well. And again, they have to choose these doors, and there's actually, none of them actually lead to anything. One isn't actually death, um, but they have to choose the doors. Obviously, they'll, they'll, they'll think they have to. It isn't me that calls for this cruelty. It's the, it's the module. Old school D and D is is mean. They'll insta kill you. They don't care. Go make another character. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, damn it! I like that character. But that's the game. Back in the day. All right. So we're just building these little dead end passages here, as you can see. All right, now this one has to be a little bit longer. Yeah, this one has to extend out. And that's the one that has the rolling. Now what's really cool, you're gonna like this. Inside here is a crazy trap that they call for a rolling ball. It just so happens that I have a rolling ball trap. So yeah, we're definitely gonna uh, Gonna do it. Let me turn the camera a little bit so you can see me a little bit more. I don't think it's that easy to see me. So let me turn it a little bit more. There you go. And you should be able to hopefully see me a little bit better now. There you go. All right. Let's see if that worked. Yep. All right. Cool. All right, so let's keep going. And yeah, I have a rolling ball trap that actually rolls down and, and hits the mini. So be really fun and exciting when I put that in. All righty. Let's keep it going. So we'll do... This is a magnetic one. We don't want to use all the magnet stuff right now. So let's just keep on going with passages. Oh, yeah, this worked out well. This worked out well. So everybody has their own little walls. One person's going to be a little bit longer, so we're going to have to add a little one of these. But that is okay. Not a big problem. Add one of the little tiny one-inch pieces here. Equal out, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, maybe not. We might be in trouble. Might have to do it the other way. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Simply get this. And if I did that, one more. That be enough. Equal it out. Because it's losing a little bit every time. Oh. Darn it. So close. All right, so that's not going to work. Change of plans. We will do it the other way. I had it figured out before. So that's okay. All we have to do is take this out. Would have looked cool to be like perfectly flush, but eh, whatever. It will still be flush. Let me slide that down. Let's take this and give it a one piece here. Here, and there we go. So that takes care of that. Okay. Basically, all I'm doing is, uh, instead of going around, like, with one of these corners pieces, like as you see here. Darn it, I just broke that. 
Don't worry, they glue on very easily. As you can see, I've probably glued a million times already. That super glue is, is wonderful. Um, but basically, I'm just coming around the corner. Instead of using the corner piece, like as you see here, uh, I'm just using these straight pieces to kind of form edges uh, to make it uh, more uniform here. Right. That goes in. All right, so this now. There you go. Okay. And now, finally, this gentleman. Okay. And that gives us the complete thing. You actually put one more over there. Nobody will notice that. Even I will. It's okay. I got a lot of these magnetic boards. I'm going to just start using. Uh, no, you know, you never know. I might want to put crazy traps somewhere. So let's just fix this right here. Now that we got the right size of the room, we got what we want that way. Now we're just going to come down and put all the stuff in here. And then we're going to connect it one way that way, and one way this way. So you have a cool little step up and connection. And again, this adventure, if you want to watch us play it, I'm going to be airing it when I get back from Comic-Con. Uh, we'll be starting it. And then I'll just upload it to the, the net. People can watch it. And I'll be hanging out in there so you can talk to me while you all watch it. And, you know, all that good stuff. And if you go to our Facebook page, like I said, you can suggest builds and... I think I'm going to start some builds based on The Witcher pretty soon. Where I build locations from like Care Moran and stuff like that. Born of Care Moran. Born of Nala. Sorry, sorry. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music. When I try is upon him. Beautiful. Because the soul. All right. So let's keep going. You can tell I'm, I'm chilling right now. Singing the White Wolf. Okay, so let's close this off. Because the first one is a different type of trap. That's the first trap that they encounter. So close that off. There we go. So that does that first. And again, these are going to be doors, so they won't know that there's nothing behind there. They'll think there's something. Unless they're cheating right now, which would be totally be ruining it if they were watching it. I'd almost feel bad for them. Uh, more magnetic pieces. I got a lot of passages and walls, as you can see. I highly suggest you get these. This is probably one of the best things Dwarven Forge sells, simply because you'll they're so modular, as you can see by what I'm doing. You can pretty much form anything with these pieces, so cannot uh, say enough. The passages and walls uh, pack is really, really good. It's a little bit of a learning curve to get to use them perfectly. Not not as much as mountains. Mountains is probably the biggest learning curve. I'll say that. Um, but once you learn um, how to do the passages, you'll be very, very happy you did. And you'll be very satisfied, I think, with what you'll be able to do. You'll be amazed at the beautiful things that you will be able to create with those passages. Probably do a lot better than me. I'm pretty basic. I'm a basic guy. So other people would have some awesome stuff. For me, as you can see, I'm pretty much by the numbers. And uh I'm a master copier. <laughs> There's a way oh, I, I'm good at copying. So, very good at that. So right now, we're just continuing to do our hallway here, because this is going to be the hallway where the rolling boulder comes down. And I'll show you that rolling boulder on screen. I'm not going to do you wrong and not let you see that. We're going to have that rolling boulder come down, and it is going to be on like Donkey Kong, I'm telling you. All right. 
Let's get this one. This one. Okay. All right, this is starting to look really cool. All right. So that's that. You know, I'm going to get the rolling boulder right now. Because I'm sure if there's anybody out there, and I'm on YouTube right now, so if you're on Facebook or Twitch watching this, uh, you can come watch us on uh, YouTube. It's easier just to see us up here. But let me put that rolling boulder in right now. Let me move this camera too, so you all have a little bit of a better view here. Uh. all right shaky cam shaky cam time we're making a, a 90s hard flick indie hard flick all right so let's get this rolling boulder trap out here i know y'all want to see the rolling boulder i also got another cool trap i'm going to put in today which is going to be this swinging log trap let me put that as you can see here. It actually is pressure plated, so when the mini step on it, a log will come and knock them down. So that kind of that nasty thing is gonna be added in here for my players. Woo! Scaring the heck out of them. Let me grab some water. All right. Let's keep it going, keep it going non-stop. Breaking out the master maze resin sets here. These are beautiful earlier Dwarven Forge products. They do not, uh, I mean, they make them, I think. Uh, well, I don't know about the master made this uh, trap set. This I had to get online. It's a hard to find. But I think they do still make some other stuff. All right, here's that. Okay, so here we go with our rolling boulder. Check this out. Oh. So we put this in here like this, right? And what the adventure calls for the module is that when somebody opens that door, check, let me let me grab a mini so you can see how cool it really is. It's hard to hard to visualize. Let me uh who 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 gets to die today? Uh poor ranger is gonna bite it. My good friend Richard uh painted this mini for me. And we're supported, by the way, mentioning, talking about painting, let me mention our sponsors, uh, you know, Reaper Minis, Troll Lord Games, and Magecraft Miniatures are really, really great. Uh, you see their products on our show, especially when I do my uh, actual streams with games. You'll see me use a ton and ton of miniatures, uh, so you'll be using their products. And then with Troll Lord, anytime I'm looking for different rules or something cool like that, um, I tend to go ahead and take a look at their products. And I bought some as well myself. I use them for like one shots. And of course, if I'm looking for new spells, magic. So here we go. The mini, the um, and the player character opens the door. They don't have any way to dodge it. It says, we're not a way to avoid it or whatever, detect it, I'm sorry. So here comes the ball and boom, hits the mini. Dun, 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 dun. Goes right through the doorway and will smash right in. How cool is that? As the door opens, this huge rolling boulder. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oof. <laughs> so yeah, we get a cool little cool little thing there as it hits the mini uh, and the rolling boulder gets uh, the guy there. So that is pretty cool. All right, so now we got to keep going. So let's keep building here. Uh, now, what I'm working on is, uh, you can see my messy stack of two ebooks back there, second edition, whole stack of books, and a bell here that I use for the town cry. Let me get some of that stuff out of the way. All right, so now the third one is just a blank door, apparently. Um, so, you know what we will do then, so we can get that cool little area coming off let's move this up a little bit over here so they'll think oh man it's another crazed door and then it's actually uh you know what better idea 
better idea. The door, I don't know if this is going to work though. Uh, no, it's not because I'm on the, um, well, let me see. Maybe I, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> it works. All right. So that door is actually the door that I'm just, just slightly altering it. This door right here is actually leads to nowhere. Uh, you have a, a spe an apparition appears. And then there's a secret door that actually will lead them uh, back around into it from here or over here. But I'm not going to put this passage in here. They'll just have to find the secret passage back here. So they'll either go in that way or they can approach that way. And then there's a third way that way. Um, so, yeah, they'll be thinking this is some kind of mega dungeon uh, or mega. It is a mega dungeon, but they'll be thinking it's some kind of probably a boss room. They don't know. All right, so now we just keep on building. So now let's put this in here. Put this in. Put them, put these in. And this one. So here we go. And I'll come back and put the things um, for the doors in later. You know, I have all the little slides and stuff. In fact, I think they're right here. Uh, I can put some of them in now. Uh, I picked up the wrong thing. Doom, doom, doom. Mm -hmm. Silly me. Let me get the right thing. So I can show you how this stuff looks. Sorry if you hear me over here making a uh, ladder, trying to find this here. Where did I put it? Where's the, uh, it must be, oh, it's over there. I forgot that. I had kept one of them always under my seat. This thing is coming together well. I'm very excited. This sub uh, build also, our community voted on this one first. Everybody wanted to see the mega dungeon built. So that is what we built first, the mega dungeon. This is a six foot by four foot table. So you're talking 24 square feet of playable space, which is pretty exciting. Okay, where's all the little doors and stuff here? Here's all the little stuff that you can slide into these things. I can't remember where the rest of them are, but I'll find them. There they are. We got these. And... This is a door that leads to nowhere. So this one, they have to just pick. That's one. Slide and ease in. Oh no! Fall apart on me now. It's all falling apart. I'm falling to pieces. Oh no! Falling to pieces. I'm also going to add the LED lights. I have LED lights for this dungeon and stuff. So all that stuff, like I said, I'm going to be coming back and adding as uh, it progresses here. Where did I just put all that stuff? Sorry. I am so absent-minded sometimes. I will just put stuff down when I am building and not even register where I put it. So I'm not thinking. I'm just in total build mode, being silly. So where did I just put all that stuff? Uh, just had it. How could I have put it down and lost it that quick? Up oh, here they are. Just the same darn color as the dungeons. That's the problem. All right, so here we go. Uh, this can actually be the one. Uh, we have a secret passage, so we need a secret passage piece. 
Do, 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 do. So this one will be the door. If I even do that, let's do it like this. If I even try to take it out. Excuse me, I had a little bit of cold here. This thing when I had the other day, it's killing me. So I do apologize for having a cold on the stream, but apologize for being human and getting sick. <laughs> Damn humanity. Damn re real life and reality interfering with my fun. But isn't that how it always is? All right, so they've got their door that has an apparition. Now, this will be the secret door. So I'll just put this here. Mm, you know what, though? It's a little too obvious. Let me get this piece from over here. This is a much better place for this secret door. See, this one looks better over there because they won't be able to t tell. They'll think it's just another wall piece. And then this one, as you can see, it actually swings and, and moves out, which is pretty cool. So this one I'll put like right here. And they'll have no idea. They'll be like, man, what is that? And that will lead to the secret door or to the secret area that they will not think is there. They're going to be like, oh, man, that's just a dead end over there. Why not? Maybe they'll go the other way first and they'll come upon the secret door first. I don't know. I do not know which way they're going to go. That's one of the, the fun things about DMing in these dungeons is they might accidentally <laughs> come across the, a, the, a big baddie in here uh, very early and, and get totally TPK'd. I don't know. Who, who's to say what's going to happen? All right, so that's there. So how do I want to finish that off? I need to have it finish like back here. That it needs to get back there. Yep. So they think that's just a long passage. Nothing to see here. Nothing interesting, sir. Nothing to see here. I don't know if anybody's in YouTube uh, on the uh, Facebook or our Twitch channel right now, but I'm um, kind of answering questions more on YouTube. So I apologize if you're on twitch or facebook watching us it does look like there's some people on twitch watching us i just clicked over um uh, hold on the nordic hammer phone battery at six percent and on oh i'm sorry nordic hammer well, i'm more on youtube right now uh but i'll keep it try to keep it on twitch too so i can see everybody uh talking here and try to switch over once in a while here I'm sorry that you can't watch if your phone battery's dying, dude. That does suck. Doing a mega build here, as you can see. I had the rolling boulder um, for our dungeon. This boulder really does roll down Nordic Hammer, and it will hit the mini. Whoever opens that door, it's going to bash right into that mini. It's going to be such an epic moment for those guys. Like, holy crap! I might even play the Indiana Jones uh, music. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so let's do this. All right, so we're still going here. All right. All right, so here we go. Um, put more stuff in here. That should get us to the end, or close to the end. Hold on here. Hold on here, sir. And that should do it. Where's our secret passage? See how quick I forget things? I, I, my mind is so into the build. I swear to God, I could have a thousand dollars when I put it down. I'd be like, where did I just put my money? Ah, I have to figure out a way to squeeze this down. You know what? It's because I'm using these. These gotta come out. Ah, as much as I was trying to get away with using these little triangle pieces, because you know they're okay to use, but they're just not exactly flush and they're causing 
causing a problem back there, causing a malfunction. So we're not going to be able to use that. That's okay. That is fine. We did not anticipate using that anyway. So there we go. So let's put that in. Now I need that side piece. Uh, uh, let's put all this in. Uh, let me do this. It'd be much easier to do it this way. Let me grab it. There we go. There we go. All right. Much easier I'm trying to squeeze it in there after it's in, right? That doesn't even make any sense. Not the smartest plan, but I never said I was a smart man. Never made that claim. Well, at least not, at least not publicly, I suppose. <laughs> All right. So um, let's keep doing this. This goes in here. A lot of these magnets fall out, but I just push them this back in real quick, and they work for me. I put them down. All right. That'll be good enough. Might be slightly off. Just by the slightest, because after so many pieces, every little gap that you leave slowly takes up a little bit of space. So at some point, it's like not exactly perfectly on it, but it's always close. I would not leave you all with low quality. Get only the best trying to do for y'all awesome builds but to be i just like building i think if, if i had my choice i would just love to build and have other people just run the adventures because i just enjoy building more than uh, probably anything else that's how i really just got started just i lo loved the building i was playing Dungeons and dragons and i had discovered this stuff and i already loved city building games and building dioramas this stuff is just like oh okay well this is cool it easily fell into the addiction of this stuff, man. It was not not a hard sale for me. All right, so here we go, here we go. And we're still going here. And we're trying to fill in this area. Almost got it all full. What the camera, would you say? Uh, lap up, lap, yeah, get the Indiana Jones music, yup. Okay, we'll be back in. Oh, okay. See you later, Nordic. I don't know, you're probably already gone. All right. So now let's put that there. Let me get a little. Put this under here. All right, so that works because our stairs will just go into that anyway, so that will be fine. All right, so now we just have to fill in over here. Not a problem. Let's do it. And then uh, this whole area up here is done. And then we could start over there. Start start to connect. Excuse me. We'll start the connection here first. But we have to connect it into here, like right there. So yeah. All right. I can't believe this is going to be so much fun. I wish I could play in my own adventure. Damn it! <laughs> I so 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 badly wish I could be doing this with them. But this is the price of being a forever DM. Once you get this stuff. Just forget about being a player because what? Someone else is going to want, they're not going to want to DM. They're going to want to play with your stuff. <laughs> they do. I, I don't blame them. I love playing with it, just building it. So, can't say I blame them. 
Knock this stuff over. Knocking stuff over. Hold on. Oh. Come on, buddy. Get on the get on the dime there. Alright, there we go. Alright, you're in. You're in. You're in. Alright, so where's that? There's here. Uh Okay. Wow, that just fit. I mean, just, just, just barely. It's that little bit of space right there. If I could just squeeze it down, I suppose. But I don't want to. No, because it's hanging off that end too. <laughs> so just made it. Woo! By the seat of our pants. That's the expression, I think. By the seat of our pants, we made it. All right, so now we're just filling this in because this is the secret entrance. If they come in through another way here, they'll be coming in through the back, but they still would have to probably deal with choosing one of these doors. I'm sure they'll be curious. I mean, how could you not? There's doors sitting there. They must lead somewhere. There must be treasure behind them. And then they try to go in and, well, Fun things ensue. Oh no, it's going to be hard to keep this piece up here because it doesn't want to stay up here. Oh man. Alright, so we're going to have to shorten it. We're just going to have to shorten it. Not by much, but we are going to shorten it. Because you can't have it where things falling off the edge. That ain't going to work. So we'll just do it like that. Let's do it right to there. One more. Just one more is all I really need. Come on, we could fit one. There we go. Yeah, we could do one. We could fit one more in there. I just had a little bit too many right there. But one more. Absolutely. I know it can work. Well, no. Losing magnets. Oh, oh, oh. That's not smart. Let's be smart about this, Tony. There you go. That's the smart play. Okay. Now I'll put this in there. Okay. And then one more. And I think we have it. Hmm. Had to be difficult, did you? It's just a little bit non flush, and I don't like that, so we're going to fix that. We're going to fix it right now. So it's more flushy. All right. So this is coming out here. Oh, there we go. All right, there you go. Stay there, buddy. All right. So that does that. Can we make this so it's better? There we go. Okay. There's the smart money. There she is. 
Ooh, 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 check this out. And the best part is maybe, 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 maybe. We can go, unexpected as this is, all the way to the end. I think, guess what, people? I think we might be able to check that out. Check it out. I found, we found a way to the way. We found a loving way. We're so, see, there's no, Bob Ross is right. No such thing as mistakes. Happy accident. We had a happy accident and look what we got out of it. We figured out a solution. And now, not only did we figure out a solution, it's better than I expected and and it's perfectly flush. And it's to the end of the thing. So connect up and be on their way. All right, so that goes there. Push it even. Let's get nice and sweet here. Hit the sweet spot. Okay. Okay. There. okay. Perfect. All right. So that is done right there, this big area. We've got the trap. Both traps is talked about because also right here, this thing is a uh, in front of here, there's a pit that they fall down. Spiked pit. Let me show that to you. Another dwarven forge piece, a little skeleton up there. So they won't even know that's there in the floor because that floor piece matches the other floor pieces as you could like to perfection as you could see. So they'll have no idea that's there. Zero. And so and that, and that actually blinks. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you what happens. I don't want them watching. They they might be watching. You never know. Alright, so let's start connecting over here. Where we can connect the dungeon piece. Oh, let's put the ball up here because our Indiana Jones ball. There we go. Don't fall off, baby. All right. So let's start connecting um, this area over here. I think it'd be smarter to connect. You know what? I'm doing this not the smart way. Smart way would be starting here. That has to do. I could always move this thing a lot easier than I could move the whole map. So let's do that. Got some passages here. Gonna have to get enough space to turn. Do we want to put anything else in there? Maybe we should do some some cool stuff. Some cool uh, extra room. You know what? I can always leave it that possibility open for the end. For now, we'll just get everything up and connected, but I can always, we can always come back and use these walls as other walls for an interior room and just open it up and add a door there or something, and that will become like a whole nother spot. So let's keep going. Do, 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 do. More passages here. This passage. This passage. You know, this is where we should leave the open spot. This is where we might decide we want to have it open for later. So here's where we'll leave open area. So if I want to come back there, that possibility is, is there. All right, so now we should probably start thinking about turning. So let's do that. Do we have any more? We're going to have to go into the resin floor pieces soon. Because we are running out of floor pieces. At least the magnetic floor pieces. Don't worry, people. I got like four sets of monster mess. We'll be able to fill the table up. We should be able to. We we'll definitely have like 20 or 30 encounters on one table, which is a long time worth of adventure. All right, so let's keep going here. So this is our turn. We're going to need that. These, we're going to need 
this. Another one. And another one. I don't know if anybody's on YouTube right now, but now I'm on uh, Twitch. Let me go back to YouTube, see if anybody's there. Not right now. That's fine. Guess I understand a lot of you all will be watching this later. This isn't typically a type of thing that people watch live. All right, so there's our turn. We need this piece. Let me show you what I'm doing over here. So you can get a good view. That might help you. All right, so we have to put this here. This here. Just a little piece. All right, so that has to go like that. Some slot tightening one. Yeah, these are. This is where it takes the learning curve. Um, understanding how to do this as you're learning how to turn create these little turns but again these are great uh the app the, these passage pieces i cannot stress that enough uh they are wonderful because you're able to do almost anything with them so yeah sometimes they're a little funky but definitely the best option in my opinion if you're if you had uh, in some ways i would buy like just if i could go back in time I would probably buy nothing but passageway and, and floor pieces, then diagonal walls, LED walls, and some vaulted stuff indoors. Because with the passages, you can make any room or passage. It could be anything. And it's easier. All your stuff will always be flush. Because although I, these are great, they're not exactly two inches. So you can't put them exactly right up to the passage floors. It's different. Uh, so to me, if I had all these, yeah. But it would take a little bit longer to build with. That's for sure. But worth it. All right, so that's the single pass. I could do it as a single passage, or I could extend it out like that. I think I'm going to extend it out because... We have to because I need the um, stairs that go up to obviously fit in there. So we're going to have to do this. Let's get this then. Let's get this, put it on this one. All right. And then this, put it here. All righty. Now we just have to put some floor pieces in there. One here. If I just have two more, that's fine because then I'll just go straight to the uh, resin pieces. So all I need now is one more. One more up here, honey. Come on, be nice. I mean, I know I got these others. I guess I could use this. Uh, I guess I could. I was hoping not to. Uh, oh, wait a minute. There's pieces over here. That's right. I forgot. I got pieces over here. So all I need is just this one. So we'll leave those there. It's very good there and where they're at. Because I'm going to fill that space up later. All right. So now we've got a good passageway going here. Uh... Let's go ahead and uh, fill it up here with the passageway pieces. <sighs> All right, that stays there. It is over here. All right, so let's grab the more stuff. All 
Find it closed for me. There we go. Got all these LED pieces I still have to put in. I just thought about that. There's a lot of a lot of ones I have not put in here. All these. This over here. Oh yeah, I got all these. I to find a place to put these light pieces in. Fancy dancy. The fancy dancy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Fancy dancy. Alright. So let's get this out the way. Ooh, you know what I will do? I'll do that trap on this one. Oh, that's right. Let's do perfect time for it. Perfect time for the swinging log. There we go. Swinging log trap. What you do is you put these little metal things in here. When they put the mini on there, it pops up the little uh, things in here and it comes and hits the mini. I'll do it in a little while before we get here or uh, hopefully before it ends. Or you can just watch the show because I'm sure they'll pop it. All right, so there we got that. Let's get another passage in here. There. Oh, I hope my uh, not so bright brain has worked this out correctly because if it hasn't, then it's not going to measure up and I'm going to be in a pain and butt spot. I think I might actually have it. I can't believe it. Freaking miracle. I mean, I'm serious. We're talking miracle beyond miracle. Okay. I got lucky. The D&D gods must be on my side because I won't have to adjust anything. Which is so, so very nice. And I'm going to come back in here and connect all this stuff. Yep, it worked out good enough. I can slide it over just a little. It will be okay. Yep. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. All right, let's all oh, let's fix this little area because this is somebody's bathroom, I think, up here or something. Yeah, that's the privy. Another privy. All right. Woo! So we got now. We just have to fit another little uh, thing in there, and what we'll do is we'll. We actually will use one of these. Oh, this is for the stairway. Oh, look at that fit. Oh, I don't know if you can see this on the screen. Oh, let me aim it so you can. I just got this beautiful, do a little view there so you can see that fit right there. The camera wants to turn because the cord is pulling at it. So there we go. Uh, it's going to keep turning. I'm sorry, guys. So here, let me see if I can fix that. Nope. I'm sorry about this camera movement. That's part of this show is trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. All right, there you go. So we got our trap right here, as you can see. I don't know if it's... They got a trap right here. And then we got this right here going up. So if you could see the actual... Um, uh, I think you could see already, and I just made it worse. Okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to be helpful. All right, but yeah, here's the, the trap. We got a passageway here. Um, and then going up right into here to our secret entrance. Perfectly right there. Now we put our stairs in and uh, we're good to go. Probably shouldn't even move the camp. But I just really like to make sure you all get to see everything in case you're ever building this at your own house. So there's no uh, confusion or anything like that. Out a little 
little bit. God, throwing resin pieces with their super tight walls. I love you, Stefan. She made these walls just a little bit too tight. Just, just a touch. There we go. But daddy knows how to make it work. Woo! And flush. <laughs> All right. So we've got our swinging log trap. That's, like I said, pressure plated. Uh, the pressure plate's actually in. But I don't think the metal pieces, no, they're not in there. Let me see if I can find them for you real quick. Maybe I can set this trap off on air so you can see this really cool uh, trap go here. Uh, let me see. Ah. Mm. Must have moved it somewhere. Like I said, I I would lose. There it is, right in front of me. Let me see if I can get these things for you here. I think I see one of them. Oh, here's one. Yeah. Here's our little thing to pull up the metal things. Hey. All right. I found them for you guys. Let's drop them in here. You have to do this like just right. Make sure it's in there. So you have to set it. Okay. Put that in there. Then you have to slide this little tiny thing in. Not easy as you can see all the time. The older stuff. In fact, it'll probably end up breaking on me. Let's hope it doesn't. Uh, not wanting to cooperate here. Oh, there might have been something in it. That's why, possibly. That's right. I can't put them. It has to be already in. That's right. That's right. Put this in first. Sorry about this. I know this isn't the most exciting part, but if it works right, like I said, then it's really cool. Question is, will it work? That is the eternal question. Is will it? Yeah, hold on, we got it in there now. Yeah. Right. Here we go. I got a mini. All right. So here we go. Put this up here. And the way it's supposed to work is the mini comes around the corner. Then he comes around the corner. Do it. Oh, I'm not checking for traps. I'm all good. Do, 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 do. And he. Well, as you can see, it's supposed to pop up. And. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, you have to get just right. If you hit it just right, it will pop up and this thing will come down and it's really me. There it goes. Yeah. And bam, it knocked over the mini and it got hit by that crazy log. Oh no. So yeah, there it is. 
Okay. So swinging log chop. I got plenty of other traps. Man, I got a whole box literally full of traps. Nets, fire, spikes, the whole shebang. All right. So now we've connected this. We've done this. Let's put that straight here. All right. We've got our stairs leading up. Perfect. All right. We are looking good over here. Very, very good for right now. We got everything we need at this point sitting right there. So now I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. And then we are going to start uh, on some other areas, uh, connecting the other side. So we can have uh, a whole big, massive connecting dungeon. And we'll probably add in some more rooms too. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's get this party started again. If you're watching me on Twitch, or, uh, let's see here. Twitch or anything like that. Uh, I'm actually on, uh, I'm going to get back on YouTube here. And again, I know a lot of people probably aren't going to watch a tutorial live. I'm not, I have no illusions, <laughs> but that's okay. Hopefully you're enjoying this, relaxing by yourself, building your own dungeon. Maybe it's giving you some inspiration and that's all I'm really hoping for. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't, I don't have the mic close to me, so I can't hit run over and hit mute. That's super quick here. Um, all right. So let's see here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. And there we go. All right. So now we're going to start on the other side since we've connected this side. Let's go ahead and connect over here. So I'm going to move the camera once again. So we have a nice, let's get it right here. I think this will be better. Oh, sorry, guys. This is part of the process uh let me go over there and get you a nice view all right adjusting this camera it's 
stuck over there. Hold on a second. It's darn cold too. All right, so let's find out what are you stuck on here? You're just giving me all types of problems today. There you go. Don't no need to be ornery. All right, so let's give these guys a better view. Right back again, just gonna grab a tissue here. Better one than this. Sorry about that. And here I am again. This cold is working me hard. Uh, so let's fix this camera now and give you guys a better view. Hope that's straight and give you a nice view as we're connecting here. Because uh, the whole goal is to, I mean, it might not be, it might be tilted. It is a little tilted. There you go. All right. So now we got to connect here over here so let me look at the map and how are we going to do this all right so that calls for room 13 and 14 to be coming off there so i think we should have almost a dual thing because that's a secret one so we'll have that coming off there that will go into the secret room or into this 13 room so that does that there in fact let's put this here no i don't like that well actually i do because I can put this here, and guess what that does? It saves us floor pieces, or wall pieces. And that is always a plus. And it gives us the, um... Hmm. Uh... No, because then you have to have a door here. There's no door. So that is not going to work. Not gonna work. Nope. All right, I thought we had it for a second. I was all excited. Nope. So, back to the old plan. This is here. This is here. I'm gonna have to put something like here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. All right. This will be a spot for, uh, any more. Oh, this will work. Perfect. Perfect. Nice diagonal wall. It doesn't hang too far off the floor. That goes perfect. That works. All right, so let me put the floors back in right there. Let me fix that area again. I messed it all up. Thinking I was thinking I was getting smart apparently I'm not so smart right uh, okay where else what did we take out of there there we go that's one here 
Where's the other pieces I put in there? Tony, I swear to God, you misplace everything. You are the most unorganized builder. Whatever. Drop in and leave and stuff. Should be your middle name. Drop and leave. That's your new nickname. Drop and leave. Uh, let's put some triangle ones in there. Save me a little bit if I can. Yep, that worked. Okay. And then I just have to get... What else do we have there? Where did I put that? I know I had it. You see, kids, this is this is why you, you pay attention in school because you end up not thinking right later in life. All right, so this this must go here. It has to. Where else could it go? Unless this one works. Oh. Uh, let's just put that white one in there anyway. All right, so that works. And we'll put, you know what, we'll put the other light corner in here. So this room will have a little bit of fancy dancy lighting. We'll think it's special, which it might be. Who knows? It'd be very special. Isn't every room special? Every encounter? All right. So now we've got that. I might need to move over to my seat over there. You might not be able to see me now. Because I'm going to be transferring. But you'll see my hands as I'm working here. So what am I going to need, though? need to establish that first. And where's my water? I'm going to need some water. I think that path should lead around. But it also should have um, some rooms in there. And here are the pieces that I, I, I took off. That's I'm so stupid. Once again. Okay. So here we go. So I put that there. So what's the map call for? The map calls for calls for us. We are right here. That's room twelve. There's a secret door behind there. I'm just gonna have to put that on a, uh, a terrain tray to say like, oh. Um. So this goes here. There's a secret. There's a, a door right there. That it opens. So hold on, let me put this here. So that actually, I could just leave that open if I wanted. That actually works better. So I know it's open. That goes into 13. And then there's a secret passage right there. So 13 is three by three. So I need to make that right now. Three by three. Three by three. So for us, that's actually six by six. Because we are building, like I said, to a larger scale. There's that. Um, need to be smart about this so I can conserve on pieces. Or I should say make it tight so I can have more areas for them to explore. There we go, that works. Then I can put the I can put uh just all I gotta do is put some floors in here and it's a room. And this goes here, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. All right, so there we go. So I just need to fill that up. Uh, how am I going to 
filled up there. How am I going to fill that up? So anyway, I can use the other pieces. Mm -mm -mm. We're in the thick of it now. All right, that goes there. Move the camera again so y'all can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah. Oops, sorry about that. Just making sure we got a good angle there for you. Sorry I had to see my mug for a second. All right, that should be a good shot for you. All right, so you can see what I'm doing coming off that room. Trying to do that. And that's fine because that can be that. So all I need is a corner piece over there. Sorry, my cold is acting up here. We have another secret door. As you can see right here, and of course my secret doors actually work, it spins. Thank you to Door to Forge for that awesome stuff. So now, uh, I have to get a corner piece. And I am not going to put that corner piece that's the, uh, the uh, resin corner piece on the outside. Oh no, we'll put this one or the magnetic piece. As if this falls, no harm, no foul. But if the resin piece falls, well, goodbye to that piece. All right, so there we go. We got our secret room coming off there. We got our regular room, then the secret room. And where does the secret room lead? Because uh, that goes from 13 perfectly into 14. All right, so... That would lead, so I need to build passage, room, room. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Passage, room, room. We'll just open up, we don't need to have stairs. It actually calls for an elevation going down, but we already have another cool looking elevation over here, so we're good on elevations. So let's just open up into a room, which is perfect. Uh, if not, we will open up going downward, because I do not want these on the edge of my table. So we will do that. So, okay. All right. What we got to do here? So, got to keep going. That leads into another little room. We need these. This. And a bunch of floor pieces. Ooh, that scares me just to sell. So I sell. I don't break out the resin all the time. It's something special, so. It's going to be a massive game. We're going to have an awesome, awesome time. All right, so 14 is uh, 3 by 2. So 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'd need 4 by 6. All right, not a problem. 4 by 6, we can do that. 
put just one more down. Four pieces. Right. Oh, this is so much fun. I love building. I wonder if it calls for a trap in there. Let me let me see what's in there. So that seems important. I remember like those areas off the side were kind of important. So let me see what's in there. That's number thirteen and fourteen. Yeah, a lot of stuff here. Mm -hmm. Yep, room number. Fourteen is some serious, and then fifteen. Wow. Okay, there's another secret. There's secret doors everywhere in this mug, man. All right, hold on. I gotta build find another secret door, but first let's build that room. We'll finish up that room. I remember where all the what other secret doors I got here. I don't know, do I have any more secret doors? Uh, we put into play. Might as well put the pillars in the room. I just realized. Might as well decorate the easy decorations at least. Because I know these are going in here. There's some other pillars going in, but for now I'll just throw those in. All right. Uh, super doors. Any more guys? We have any more doors? Tell oh, Daddy you got more doors. Uh, you know you got a secret door running around here. I don't think I have any. Yeah, not any more secret doors, just a bunch of regular doors now. Oh, wait. Do you have one? There we go. That works out perfect. Boom. 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 There it is. Boom. There it is. I'm done. Dun, 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 dun. That's a horrible, horrible song. Well, I mean, horrible in the sense that if you were my age listening to it, it would drive you utterly insane. Let me see if anybody's on YouTube or Twitch right now. Like I said, I doubt anybody's watching me do a tutorial live, but you never know. There might be somebody who enjoys watching my tutorials. I know a lot of people watch the replays. That's what I've noticed. There's a lot of many more views in the replays. Uh -oh. 
right there we go at that room and that room is quite small too if i'm not mistaken it's actually about the proper size it's not very big yep it's only four by four we'll even put we don't have space and you know what that's okay maybe we could put like we'll save our led for another another area that is fine would have been cool not important not this certainly the a must no no not a must uh where's the top for this where is the top that is strange that's fine we will use one of these back here Uh, squeezing it in here, man. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. Squeezing the, squeezing the juice, man. Squeezing the juice. It's the pizza. Oh yeah, that's horrible, horrible error too. The pizza is in the juice, buddy. That shows how old I am. I go back to Pauly Shore, and he was actually funny. There was a time, but of course. He was kind of like, you know, you had to be a certain age to really get into his, his form of humor. And I was at that age. <laughs> All right. So we've got this area looks like done with our secret door as we wanted to do. So they'll have no idea that that is there. He's put these over here for now so they have no idea that is there they will just go into that there's that small little area there so let me go ahead and finish that area off and then what is in the back there since that's that that's 13 14 15 13 has another secret door. All right, so I'll just say that's the other secret door that comes off right there. Do we have another secret door? <laughs> I know we don't got another one. We can pull up the if I can fit another one. And another one. And I technically do have one right here. And I'll just put this and hold on. We got this. We got this. We're just too, too we, we don't we don't go out like that. We're gonna have our secret doors. We're gonna have them. Where we want multiple secret doors. So just like whoa, secret door, whoa. That's a good find. Might not find it. Might have to go another way to get it. Who's to say? I don't know. Guess we'll have to wait and find out. All right, so that means this would actually go here as another secret door. Let me get the doors thingy. again another secret door we haven't even gotten to the led stuff and crap i'm gonna be working on this thing probably tomorrow probably even next monday this build was crazy <laughs> this is the mega mega the omega the omega dungeon and i still have to come back and put all the little 
centerpiece is in for the uh for the old school dwarven forge that you can use that for all right so that those rooms are done cool all right let's put another secret thing there they're gonna start recognizing now as a pre-game defense hmm that looks strangely like the secret door piece like the other secret door piece but not all the time in certain places they'll have no idea it's there like that one room back there at the very back they won't know that's there whoa hitting the resin There we go. Let's fix that there. There we go. All right. Put our secret door piece in. Secret door piece is in. All right. Wow. This dungeon is getting big. Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so, all right. Next. Where are we going here? We got to make that connection going back to the other. All right. So, that is... 14, so we have another room, 16 and 17 down there. And then it connects to there. So I need to make two more rooms, one six by six and one two or four by six. So let's start with the six by six first. Hope we can fit it all. This is a challenge, my that is for sure. All right, let's break out the the old school cement pieces here. We got some floor systems in here, stuff like that. I also got some fallen rock traps. I'll go ahead and add those in. Those are always fun. I love just pressing them. Sorry. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. This will be perfect for the other room. So we've got our four by six room right there. Perfect. All we need is a six by six room. And I should have another floor like that. And then once we just add the stuff to it, then yeah, it'll just be a six by six. But is there a way that we can cheapen down on the amount of stuff we need to use? Probably not. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that like that. I'm not taking a risk with my pieces. Hell no. Not hell no. Let's get this done here. Side piece, side piece, side piece. I need some of these. I do need some. Oh, I know what I could do. Make it much easier for me. And I could just... My hands like this, right. I got all these. Might as well use them. All these wall pieces. So I can just... These. Make it a six by six. Just like we needed it to be. And that works out well. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. That's from the movie Gangs New York. Great movie. If you've never seen it, I highly suggest you, you immediately go watch it. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. We got just like it calls for in the module. Six by six. We're nailing it, guys. We're doing it. We're building it pretty damn close to the map. And then that goes there. All right. Uh, that ain't gonna work because I have to have this. So that's right. So that's gonna have to do that. Now I'll have that lead up there. Hold on. Sorry, I got tissue again here, guys. Plus this stuff is dusty. That ain't helping me all the time. I am very sorry for anybody watching this in the future. 
but I was sneezing and, and all over the place here. And if my son is watching me, you know, and I've passed away many years now, and this is you watching your dad, I love you, Luke. You're the most important thing in my life, and you always will be. I'll be with you forever. There you go. I hope he sees that one day. Children are the most important thing. Don't let anybody tell you different. There's no greater joy than your kids. Let's see, which way I gotta go with this? Hold on. Your box back. Um. So one has to go down. Oh, that actually doesn't connect. It's just a wall. All right, so I don't need to connect in there. That makes my job infinitely easier. <laughs> I don't need to worry connecting over here. So I, I can just do this. Let me get the little pieces. Here's a little piece right here. And I have to, like I said, come back and put the bow tie clasps. But that's like something I can do when y'all aren't around. That, that's something you obviously you have to do that if you want your dungeon to, to look right. You're going to have to add your, your bow ties in there. At least for the resin pieces. That's why I was saying if you don't, the resin pieces are great. But if you can get the newer stuff, you know, the newer stuff has its advantage in that you don't have to do the bow ties. You know, it's just all right there uh simple easy and you're done but if you got the resin that's what you have there's nothing wrong i'm going to go ahead and move the camera again so y'all can see what i'm doing because i am really building hardcore here i am jamming 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 and we need to move this cam so y'all have some knowledge of what i'm trying to do that's the whole point of the tutorial. Makes no sense to have a tutorial if you're not teaching anything. Ooh, boy, this is a hard one. I don't like, I could walk all the way over there, but I'm gonna have to in just a moment. Or you're gonna see my fat hanging out and that will definitely lose views. Nothing, nothing is gonna make views go away quicker than 46 year old man with his belly hanging out of it. I don't think that's a hot commodity. That's not gonna break the internet as they say, right? So, yeah, uh, let's get this. I'll get my pieces ready. And uh, let's go over there. Start putting this all together. Let me bring my doorway piece too, because I'm gonna put my door in. Wait, it's there, because there is a normal door. I don't think that's a secret door there. No. The one that leads to 16 is not secret. 18 will be up there. Ooh, you know what? I'm also going to add room 18 over here. So that's what I'll use. Um, I'm going to do that over here. In room 18, is that a secret door? Nope. I don't need to worry. I'm going to modify it because I have to put 18 right there. Uh, so I'm going to need a lot of these. Let's finish that room. And as we keep going, whoops, sorry. Got to be very noisy when you have all this storage stuff. All right. Okay, so here we are. Let's do this. This goes here. Also, the reason I like the Dwarven Knight stuff a little bit better is like it also is more flush. Like your dungeon, when you put it on a metal table, like I put mine, if you have those magnetic pieces, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, you're just going to be tight and it's going to look really, really pretty. But with this, yeah, it's gonna it moves around a little. Thankfully, I, I have a a big table that doesn't uh like 
it's very heavy. It's a steel table, so even if somebody, like, it isn't going anywhere. But yeah, if you were doing this, like, on a kitchen table or something, it might be rough because if somebody hits it, you're going to be upset. Like, oh, my God, all that work. All right, so that's where my door is going to go, so perfect. My door will go right there. Making rooms, making rooms, always making rooms. I can't see my computer right now, so if anybody's talking, I am sorry that I can't see it. Uh, I don't think anybody is, and I'm also on YouTube, so uh, probably better to come over to YouTube if you're trying to chat, because I really don't see the chat over there. All right, so now, uh, what did I do with that darn door? Put it down like I always do. Like I always, always do. I, I put it down and didn't think where I put it. All right. So we will just build the other room over here. The other room is four by six, which is exactly the size of this. <coughs> so we'll put this here, and then we can also use the back of these walls for the other room. And that will be our room number 18. And that will work out just perfect. Uh, we have one problem. Ah, man. That's right. I got this problem solved. I got this problem solved. Not an issue. Do this. And where's another little one? And then we have to come back. Problem is now, is it won't be exactly flush up next to it. So I'm going to have to put... You'll see. I'm going to have to put the other pieces here and turn them backwards to make it flush. Having pretty much the same effect. Question is, how many pieces will I have left? All right, and this. here's my door, please. Got it, I got my door. Do it right here. There's another door, so I have to put that out too. I have to say, though, I like the resin doors better. The resins, the doors with the resin sets are freaking very nice. And the resin sets do feel more real. That is what I say. I mean, the stone, the stonework is beautiful. I mean, it feels so good. It's just, it's so scared to use it, you know? That's a, that's a time to use the stuff and somebody like hits it or something in the wrong way or like slams their mini on top of it. You're like, oh my God, no. No. So let me see here. Uh, you have to have one. It looks like I got some wall pieces here. But it's like we got some stuff here. We got a whole other box too, so we should be okay. At least for a little while. One, two, three, four. That should be enough going across. Yeah, see what I'm doing? Now this will cause it to be flush. Jesus, cold, man. Jeez. When I look, someone's probably hanging from my nose throughout the whole performance. Which again, I'm sure it gets lots of viewers. But I do this for joy, and hopefully you can share in that with me. I got a city over here I built, which uh, is pretty cool, too. All right, so here we go. Yep, that works. <coughs> near the mic now so I can actually mute it when I cough and stuff. All right, so that does that. That will give us that. 
And that is good enough. I can live with that. Little edge off. It is slightly off, but not enough to be seriously noticeable. Then we do that. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you have to just come around here like this. Oh, let me go over there and get some pieces. Getting the pieces, getting the pieces. Could I do it the other way now? Now could I do it the other way? Uh... Yes, I could. Now I can do it. I'll just come up to this other way and do it like that. So now I can. And it actually looks pretty good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It, it, happy accident once again. Once again, Bob Ross. Thank you, Bob. All right, so that works out well. I put this here. That's going to have to be the, the door. That's right, because that's 16, 17. So we need just the floor right there. There we go. Put that door in there. Oh, Ooh. Thankfully, the doors aren't as sensitive as the uh, terrain. But that could have been very bad. Very, very bad indeed. All right. So that's all in. Come back and seal it up. Let's get the rest of the... Um, I should be able to sit here and do this. Yeah. So, I just need a, one floor piece when the time comes. Yes, sir. Here's, I had a, one of them, too. There it is. Ah, another one. Ah, there we go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We got a slight issue because this has to come off and although it fits fine this way you might just have to make the room one square larger because this isn't going to it's going to be a jerk. It's being a jerk, man. Meanie. All right. We'll just have to build it one square larger. Whatever. A little bit bigger than the actual module. The module called for a four by six room, but for us to make this flush, it needs to be a little bit larger so we can have a proper exit out the room. Wow, this dungeon's getting pretty freaking big. I'm looking at it right here, it's just... That's a big damn dungeon. People gonna be jamming on this thing. And we're still not even done. Oh my god. Oh my god, we got a lot. Uh... All right, so there we go. There we go. Everybody's in. Everybody's happy. Okay. Now we just have to finish that out. We'll do another turn like we talked about before. Except this one will do a tight turn. We'll do a something like that. Where it's only because then we, we want to go into here and spread out. And then we'll just do some stuff like this. 
So it spreads out into here. Then we'll do a little turn right there. Like right here. Oh, I guess we're going to have to do this. Yeah, something like that. Now, well, first, let's get it. Let's get it uh, connected there. So let's do this. I'm hitting the mic. I apologize here. Just trying to get this right here. All right. So there we go. And then we could just do this. And then we got a nice, decent sized room. All right. Uh, let's finish off that though. Finish off this one. Still not out of passage pieces, so we're good on that at least. The big thing now is going to be maximizing, you know, your space. And what I mean by that is using walls to be walls of other encounters. So this way you don't have to like, I mean, yeah, sometimes you see I separate and make long passages, but that is actually in some ways a bad use. It creates negative space and it makes it where it's like, you know, hard to, uh, I can't really use the things in here. But when I'm able to fill this up with floor space, it becomes another encounter. So you can end up, if I filled this whole thing up, like where everything was connected, oh man, they might have like so many damn encounters, it would be nuts. It would just be freaking crazy. All right, let me get on cold is attacking again. Oh, the future. All right. So let me keep going here. Keep on building. Darn it. I forgot I had to make it a little bit. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have to do that at all. I could just do a cool little funky funky curve here where the room is just a little bit smaller in this one area no big deal just takes up a little bit less space there we go and then we got another corner All right and this side i'd say this right here this room is is done until i come back and put the little things but the room itself is now done as you could see why is this thing not sitting right? Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's finish off this little bit right here. Uh, let's see if you can still see what I'm doing. Yep, you sure can. Okay, good. I don't know if anybody's in here, but if you are, hello. And I'm on YouTube. I can't see any of their comments uh, other than the ones on... Uh, where's my Twitch? No, I'm on Twitch right now. Let me check YouTube. <laughs> Let me go over and check. I need to get some pieces anyway, so check you too. No, oh, somebody isn't here. Hello. Whoever's in here, I saw you. Sorry if I wasn't here. All right, so now. Let's see how big that room 18 was in counter 18. We got like more than, like we got number 31. I'm just kind of building whatever I can get onto the map and they can just go wherever. Number 18 is only a four by four, so it's not a very large room. That's cool. So let's put a little... I know what to do. I got a little just what to do here. So that would be that. This here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm going to be evil. I'm going to be evil. Yes, I am. Evil. Yes, I am. Gonna be so evil. I'm gonna put one of those little cool little trap over there. My little falling rock pressure plate. That would actually work a little bit better than a falling log. The falling log doesn't seem to always hit all the time, but the pressure, the uh, 
other one, yeah, that one does. That one tends to work a little bit better. Uh, we're going to have to do one more. Not to form it properly. I want a little bit of a thing there. We got you. We got you. You can't stop this train. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing here. Okay. All right, yeah. Cool, it's coming through. It's coming through here. And now, like I said, we put this little fallen rock trap in right and it's not really so much even a trap it's just a natural hazard that you know the person just happened to happen to have to deal with uh. I might as well put the stuff in there now little middle poles this is the same just as the, the falling log trap speaking of falling log let me put it back up here same as this principle at least is the same you know they the log was love this stuff but darn it sometimes it wants to drive you crazy. There you go. It's perfectly in there now. All right. Let's get the other little little things here. All I'm doing is getting the little metal poles that go in the trap there. Yep, and here they are. A little rusty, but worse for wear. You know what? <laughs> I'll put the rocks on once it's on the thing. All right, there we go on that. <laughs> Yay! What is in room 18? Let's see if there's anything interesting. 16, 17, and 18. Let's see what we got. Let's see, armory. And 16 is reviewer study. Yep, yeah, so that works. So 16, 17, 18 down there. We've got the 13. Thirteen and fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Wow, all right, so you got thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. 
All right, let's build 18. It's gonna be very complicated here. Very basic what I'm doing. Oof, can we do it though? I'm gonna have to try to maybe come around this way. Are we gonna be able to do it or? I don't know. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Got a slight issue here. Slight, slight issue. All right, that will work. That will work. We got it. Then once I got that, I don't need anything else right there. I can just come with this. That's right, because those are my walls. All right, perfect. Let me get that. Ah, floor pieces. Four floor pieces. Yes, if I had one magnetic one, that would be great. But I don't, so might as well not even think about it. And this one could be like this. Nope, I know just how to handle that. Yes, we got this. Alright, so that's gonna be bad. Inside piece. Inside. And then I can close that off. Yes. Yes. We got it. All right. Wow. Just getting bigger and bigger. Now we close this off. And look at that. And we've got the little armory room. Let's put our door in there. All right. Wow. What time is it? 8.20. We're almost we're, we're rolling here. All right. So that's all I can fit on this side. Right now. Well, that's all it's going to go on this side, I should say. So we've got all that. Now we've got this side of the map we gotta start working on so let me grab these pieces get them out of the way because these are things i might be using so let's put them over here take a good look at what we've done so far and i'm telling you it looks pretty sweet pretty sweet so far for a dungeon pretty big actually this is definitely the mega dungeon Okay, so I've got to fix that. That's a problem. That is a problem for me. Right there. That's pretty sure it is. Might not be. I can put some boards there. I don't know. All right, so let's see where we're at. What we got? To be. So that's all the way finished over there. We got 10, 11. We got everything on that side of the map that is awesome i don't know if y'all can see this but everything on the right hand side of the map from here from the very beginning here all the way here all the way we got all this necessary stuff on this side of the map so we had a whole bunch of, of funky things right there isn't that great all right now we just have to get the other side and what goes first? So we should start with that goes over there. Twenty-one. 
Comes off there. Leads to 21. All right. I got it. We'll build 21 and 22. We've already built 24. All right. So let's do that. Let's get those. So I have to have. That's a damn secret one. I won't worry about that right now. Do you have any more diagonal walls? I don't think so. I think we're all fresh out of walls. Oh wait, that's not true. I got I got the diagonal one right here. Plus I have the diagonals from the stone set. There's a bunch of diagonal ones in the stone. Right, so I have to get that out of there. All right. So let's do that. First of all, this is going to require another thing right here. It's just going to require another floor piece. But the cold is kicking in again. I pain in the butt. It really is. All right. So we have to come off. Well, first, wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, right. So that actually goes right into that room. So I just need a floor piece. Just a floor piece. I really don't like that, the way it doesn't stay flush right there. Maybe there's another piece I could put there? Another piece some kind? And I can. Do that either. So you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. And the magnets out of here. Let me get the darn magnet from this thing. Ugh. Why you gotta be such a pain sometimes? So we'll take this. That will give us a small door right there. Okay, so that opens up for us right there. Oh, I need to move the camera. You guys can't see anything again. Oops, let me move it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my computer. Shut up. All right, let's see what we're at here. What y'all are seeing right now. I think we're froze up here. Hold on, I have to refresh. Refreshing. Okay, there we go. All right. Can you play sports? 
don't you have to get in the tub after, Luke? Come on. All right, so now I've got this. So I just got to open up this area over here. This was only a four by four room. Let me see if it's connected to anything. Uh, yeah, and there's a secret door right there. I had so many secret doors all over the place. Secret secrets everywhere. All right. Well, that's okay. We can handle that. We got plenty of, plenty of pieces here. This is a four by four room, but it really doesn't go anywhere. So I'm just going to do this. Make it like a little path. That's really about it. I don't see the need to go all ballistic with it. I guess I can make a little bit of art. This right here. Yeah, there we go. Be a little bit nice. It's not completely just I'll just block it in right there. There we go. That's perfect. Because then that could be the wall of the other thing. Hold on a second. Yep. That's the wall of 24 going up right there. All right. So 21 goes to 23. Wow, we've got a large. This is really technically, it's getting very close to being the entire dungeon. Yeah. We only have to build. Wait a minute. Eight more rooms. Eight more rooms, and we've got the entire dungeon. Wow. Okay, wait a minute. Let me make sure. Count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Eight more. And we've done it. Holy, holy crap. I didn't know if I'd be able to, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I'll be real with you. It was uh, up in the air there. I was like, wait might be able to do it. I hope I can. That's how I felt. That's how I hope I can do it. It's going to be a big disappointment if people tune in. And I, but not really. Even If I come even close, I should say that. I'd be happy because that's a lot of dungeons. A lot of dungeon pieces. All right. Put that there. Get a four piece, four piece. I don't even need another. We need another side piece. There we go, side piece. Another side piece. There we go. That will give us a floor. There we go. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. That is very, very good. Very close to what I was looking for. Okay. And then that just kind of, I'll just kind of say it's a tight, tight room right there. All right, so that works. We got it all set up. We got those rooms. Just looking at this darn thing spread out. And I can only imagine how long it's going to take them to move. Because when you put it in perspective, you're a little mini. You know, it's going to take a little while moving this mini through this entire dungeon here. Oh, it's going to take a, going to take a minute. All right, let's put that back over there. All right, uh, so that room's done. So let's move on to the next room. Next room is number 19. Let's do 23, because 23 is coming out of 21, but we will connect it off of 22. What is 23? Let's see what 23 is first. So we know what's in there. 
There are little doorways. There's a tiny door. Here's your tiny door. There you go, tiny door. Number Alright, so 12, wow, that's a pretty big deal. Alright, then 26. 26, I, did I make 26 already? I think I did. Mm. Nope, there it is. That means there's nine rooms, I did miss one, there's nine. All right, so 20, well, not now, because I just made 21 and 22. Uh, so it's like seven left. There's a total of like 30 some encounters. Uh, so let's make that shaft. Let's make that going up. Okay. All righty. I need to make that, so we'll do it like this. Let me move the computer now, because... Uh, shaft going down that way. All right. never easy never easy making this stuff all right so i have to come off there get some more floor pieces we're gonna use what we got here all right so one of these a lot of these pads are great pieces still. You know what? What am I thinking? There's a smarter way to go about this. I got these big pieces. What am I doing? I'm just not using my brain here. I won't even do that. Why waste? Be smart. Just, uh, let's put a swinging trap in there. Put some fun. Put some fun. Just fell. Oh. It's my vape. Not a big deal. Let's put another swinging trap in. You know what? No, I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to blow them up right like that. We'll just do a normal little 
do it like this. That will work. I don't even need to. Yeah, just to or it might be better just to. Yeah. You know what? You know what? It might be smarter. Just to do it like this. I don't have to waste anything. That's what I'm trying to avoid right now. Is just wasted walls. If I can use a wall to form a wall of another room, that gets me another encounter. And these rooms don't have to be big. So it actually calls for rooms that are just like four by four and stuff like that. In fact, let me make sure I'm leaving this room. Now I do try to make the rooms though the appropriate size. So if there's an encounter in there and the room calls for a 30 by 30 room, yes, I do try to make it 30 by 30. Uh, that is number... Mm. Calls for nothing. Uh, that's just a path. Just a little path. All right. That's fine. Uh, then we will just use this thing because this is all it calls for. Oops. Do this one, and this. That works out well right there. All right, there we got that. There's no need to. We'll just finish it off like this. Uh, I don't even need to do that. I could just freaking close it off. Yeah, just close it off. That would be much easier. Uh, I have it open like that. No need for it to be open. Uh, close it. Close off the piece. Get into the other older sets. What's in here? I forget what's in these things. Oh, I think we got. I think I already used it though. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Because this is actually what it does, so it does go up to another level. So that's perfect. That is absolutely exactly what we needed. Just put that there, because it leads up to like a special encounter if they find this secret path here. What in the F? Oh, you're kidding me, man. You're gonna do me dirty like that. That's fine. I got the solution. I got the solution. I got the power. Ooh, ah. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. It's getting, it's getting. That was a good song. All right, there we go. And that goes up to the other level. All right, so that encounter's done. Uh, all right, next. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what else I can do here. Got that, that, that. What's next? What is next? All right, now we got to do like that room that comes off there. All right, so that's number 19, and that comes off right there. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right, so that has to come off there. I need to fill up that area. That's not going to be easy. Not, not going to be easy, that's for sure. I think we're just going to do it like that. Um, all right, so we're going to try to go all the way down that way. Let's see if this actually works. Just working over here now. Trying to fill in this area. I think we got it. I think we're going to get it. We are pretty good at what we do now. I'm getting used to this. We don't, want to, we don't want to do that. We'll use. Where is it? There you are. There you are. I knew you were close. Can't be running from me. Let's put these in place here. We need some floors. We need some floor pieces, so it's time to start replacing. I do this every time, every time I, I run a game. I, I fill all stuff and I have to go back and find pieces, steel floor pieces. Can't steal it from there. Might not be able to steal it. I'd be in trouble there. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I forgot about these. I forgot all about that. Oh, these are cool. This is cool. I forgot about it. I'm going to have to add this piece in here. The turning wall. Hmm, where can I put it, though? You know, we'll come back and think about this one later. But this piece is really cool. A mini walks by it. If you ever saw the movie Bride of Frankenstein. No, it is to me. Very carefully. Shh. And the wall will flip the mini around and the player character and god knows what's waiting on the other side of the wall they might be getting killed while their friends are over there trying to save them so very intense just forget how to put this back i think it's something like that all right so now let's see what we got here Right. We've got to get figure out a spot. Figure out a spot that we can, if possible. But I don't think we can. I don't think there is any pieces. Oh, I take that back. We might be able to steal a whole bunch right here. I don't know. We're, we're going to see. 
not, I got, I think I got that secondary floor. But did I already use that too? Yep, I did. Oh, I think we got it. Ah, uh, no, because these are a lot of singular pieces. Oh, man. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. Is this one? Uh, nope. Uh, only way I could do it is over here. All right. Let's start ripping you up. Oh, man. I tell you, I get no respect. I no respect at all. Every time I try to build a dungeon, it doesn't want to cooperate. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of nutty here. In this relaxing Bob Ross style build. Okay, get all these up here. All these up because we need all these floor pieces over here. All but this one. This has to stay. So, how can we do this? All right, it's gonna happen. It worked. Whoa, I'll tell you, man, we got lucky, 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 lucky. It just fit. Woo! The any gods are on our side today. That is for sure. Where's the top? Where's that top? There you go. There you go. You're still there in the spot you need to be in. That's perfect. You guys can still go over here you know what mm. no you have the floor pieces because they connect to that so might as well put the ones that connect with each other right that makes the most sense oh i not have any more of those either I have no more floors is this it are we at that moment where i have to say well try one more pieces I got more pieces, just no four pieces. I have to order more pieces. Oh no, I was wrong. There we go. Here they are. Okay. Plus, I can always put those other pieces back. So, worst case scenario. All right, there we go, and we're in business. All right, so we got four pieces, and now we can build over here. Okay. Uh, let's see what we're doing. Nineteen. Oh, my computer went off again. Well, I'm running out of power here. It's gonna be soon. I have to call it. Usually about not three hours. I do this anyway. We still got all that whole side. I have to do it next week. Tomorrow I gotta get ready for our Saturday paid game because I do professional DMing as well. So we got 23. So that's going to be like area 19 and stuff over there. All right, so that will lead you there. That will be area 19. Behind that, got it. Okay, that will lead to 28. All righty. So we got to do that. Let's keep it going. Keep it going nonstop. That's what we do. Right. That mini back in there. Okay. So that goes there. Okay. 
More side pieces. Little side piece, please. So close, but I cannot use it as the wall. That's it. Well, that being the case, since we're making that room like 19 over there, how big is that room? One, two, three, six by six by six. Having more six by sixes. That's eight by eight. Oh, tell me we got a small floors around here somewhere. We got no small floors around here. Here we go. That's what I thought. One in here. As you can see, I say I have a lot of this stuff. Ooh, I forgot about these. I'm gonna have to add these in because these are fun. Our curved stuff. Got to add that in. Somewhere on the in the dungeon. Where could I add it? Ah oh, man. Add it right here. Yep. Mm. Eh, they don't look good those stairs there it just doesn't look right so it's freaking problem is it uh what happens is you gotta have this little front part of the stairs kind of fit in here for this to kind of work so i can't do it like that because if i want this to look right i'm gonna have to leave it like that because then the stairs are look right there we go so now it looks right but that's fine what we can do is we'll just you know we can replace stuff like this but i don't know if i want to do it right now i'll do it over here then this is a perfect spot for it Doop. look at that just cool little curves throwing unique stuff in there and i can do it over there and i can do it over there let me see if there's another spot i have uh, um, I believe I do. Uh, I think. No, that's not going to work. Oh, wait. No, no, no. So it would have to be connected right there. And that goes all the way down to there. So, nah, that, that one doesn't work. That's all right. We'll find a spot for it. We will, in time, we will find a spot for this nice round dungeon. But I really wanted to put it right here. It would have been nice, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. Doesn't take but a moment. And I like this round piece. I think it looks very nice. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, darn it, though. Darn it, darn it, darn it. It's too long. So, looks like Tony has to fix this again. And... Dum dum Tony dum da dum 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 dum. That's it. That's how it feels sometimes when I do stuff. Dum da dum da dum da 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 dum. Again, what oh, a pain in the booty. All right, so that's back. Where's the last one? Where's the... Do it like this. There you go. There you go. Alright, all fixed. No, I can't help but fix my log. I put it up here right. Okay, so all fixed. Uh, so we'll just use the curve around here for now. Perfectly easy. It fits unlike the other thing. It fits over here. So there you go. Got double curves. All right. So now, uh, we're still building that 19 area. The 19 that leads to... Uh, 20 and 21. We're going to be smart and swap some stuff out here. Do they dare to drink from this magical fountain? Ooh, come through the door. Perhaps they're thirsty. Who's to say, I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, so this is a pretty big room. So I'll just make it all the way over here. All the way. So it's this big old room. It has to go past here anyway. It's going to curve. So we'll do all the way over there. Okay, good. So we got all that. Then we'll put in a floor. That probably would help, right? Having a floor, I think so. So there we can do that. That's kind of it. So how does it go? So that just opens up into there. And then there's that open area there. And that is up to 28 over there. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Let's get that 28 room situated. Wait, right, is there another way? Hold on, hold on. Is there another way to do that? No, no. It only comes off there. Only comes off of there. Alrighty. What time is it? Let's see. Ooh, it's 9.03. We're still building. 
All right, well, let's keep it going here because I'm trying to like to finish this if possible, but I don't think I am. <laughs> I got a lot. I still got this whole side of the table to go here. Uh, let's see how it looks on the stream. Y'all can still see everything here. Uh, no, you're not seeing everything now. Oh, man. Okay. This is not easy now. Fix the camera so you can see what we're doing. <sighs> this is going to have to be. That ain't gonna work. Well, actually, wait, it might, because I think all it does is kind of leads like a passage or something. Uh, I don't know, it leads that. Another six by six. Thankfully, I got another six by six floor, I think. Do I? I don't know. Another six by six floor. Yeah, I do. Four by four, four by six, which is good enough because I can put that right here. Right up to the wall. Yeah. I don't like it not being being flush. There we go. That's flush to the wall. <laughs> flush to the wall. All right. So we're building that. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. So if I put that there. Let's see what we got here. So if I put that there. Alright, so I need to get some more. Alright, so I need to get some more. Oh crap, you're hearing my echo. So I need to get some more. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you're hearing my echo. Alright. Uh 
Alright, so we got that. That room's gonna be the... Son of a bitch. Son of a gun. Son of a gun, I mean. <laughs> Not gonna... Absolutely work the way I want it to here. We're gonna have to have a close off of some kind here. No, let's not do that. So let's put this here. Turn up the notes to close off. better because then they have to go into that room the whole point is we're supposed to have a room there so I have to fit it in there somehow here's a nice little floor for you there you go let's find another corner here's a good corner okay I really don't like putting those things on the edge like that but don't have a choice right now Such a pain, bro. Oh, that works fine. Mm -hmm. Even better. There we go. Let's put this. Floor in here, another wall. Uh, Make them really fit. <laughs> so I'm working on there. All right, so I gotta put that there. No, not that. This here, although it is pretty much a good long wall. All right, let's see what else we got here to do. I need some more side pieces. I don't know if I have any more side pieces. I do. Uh, I might be approaching that point. No, no side piece there. No side pieces there. Oh man, I'm really that point. Really hit that magical point. Hmm. It seems perhaps we may. I could just finish up that. That would be done. We need to finish up that. I don't know if we're going to get it. 
that I could do it, but I'd have to use pieces that weren't flush. And that would bother me. Hmm. I can I think I can still get this room. I think I can. Because I can put this in here. I can put all those like like LED pieces. Or a lot of LEDs. I can put this in here. Just to, just to complete the rooms. And there's another curve piece. Not curve, but rare piece. Yep. That works. And then what you do is you just kind of continue this on if you want, I guess. And that's what we could do another one. Let me put a door there. I will work on thinking about how I can finish this off. Because I know that I, I should be able to figure out a way to maybe negotiate some pieces from other areas that would help me um, and gain some more pieces from over there. Mm -hmm. So this door goes right here. There's a door for that. I still got to come and decorate this dungeon. Do all that stuff. It's still not done. Man, it's pretty darn big. You're looking at uh, some significant time uh, exploring this place. All right, so let's see where we're at. Nineteen's kind of big, guys. What was nineteen? Nineteen is meant to be big. Get that done. All right. Long hallway. Well, that's the hallway. I can say that's that long hallway area right there. What was 19? What the heck is in 19? Let's see how important it is. I'll make that 19. That works still. Right. That 20 and then over there 28. That would work well. So make that 20. Yep. And next is 28. If we could do that, then I've got all the encounters for this map going all the way to here. The only thing left would be 30, 20, 23, 20, so 1, 2, 2, 3, two, 7 left. Now officially just 7 encounters left to complete this whole pretty much dungeon mm. now where do i go 
No, where do I? I build here. Should I build? Oh wait. That makes sense. Alright, so that's a long hallway. So that I can just do like this. Now I don't know how that's gonna play out though. Fixing it later. No, that sucks. Why would they even make it like that? No, so no offense to Wolf Lord, it's just a little confusing. I guess it could work because I can have no, because then it doesn't fit. Damn it. Just gonna have to do it like that. Nope, I don't like that. So we're not doing it like that. Something like this. Much better. I don't like that. I don't know if I like that at all. There's a gap over there. That's a big gap. Don't know if I like it. It's a huge gap. Huge. Huge. It's huge. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe that lucky. I don't think we will. This work. You know what? It actually does because squeeze that in there. Let's 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 do that. We we'll squeeze, but we can squeeze. Where is the little one? That's a tiny one. This will get it. Yep. Will it? Darn it. Darn it. Why you gotta be so difficult? Why you gotta be so difficult, man? Can't you just be easy? Easy way. There you go. There's a tiny gap over there, but we're just gonna have to look at it and I think about something to make it a little bit better. But I think right now, this is about the end of the stream for right now, because man, we've done a lot. Uh, let me see where we're at, how big this thing looks on the stream. Wow. That is pretty big. And we're not even done yet. It's pretty big. You should see it from my angle. It looks a whole lot better. It's just cool looking at all from... <laughs> Someone's going to be running through this. 
All right, I'm going to shut the stream off, guys. We ran a little bit longer than I expected, but I really wanted to get this done. Uh, we're not done yet, so it'll probably be a part three where we will finish up that side and then just get to the decorating and everything else. All right, see you all later. Thanks for coming by. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.